Hey guys, Patriot back once again. Feels like it's been a while since I did a video, which it probably has. Feels like it's been a couple weeks. But uh, anyhow, this isn't really a, a review or anything like that. It's more of a talking point or just a show and tell about the Meritac micro grappling hook. And uh, there's some other videos um, available on YouTube about this. I uh, haven't looked at them in a while, but uh, I got this a couple weeks ago and still hadn't made a video about it, but it's a one cool little gadget. Uh, so I just wanted to share it with you. So we'll kind of try to move right along and keep this to one 10 minute video. And uh, I'll start with the, with the size. You can kind of see it next to a quarter here. Not much to it. Um, here's an i next to a iPod Nano. It's uh, about the length of the screen, I think, on this one. Uh, if I put it next to a Meritac Double A light, uh, you can see the Meritac light looks huge compared to this little thing. Um, even compared to the triple A, I think the body diameter on the triple A is about the same uh, or close to it and of course the triple A light is longer. Um, just to kind of give, you know, hopefully uh, some of you have some of these things and so you can kind of see how tall they are, what the size is in comparison, but uh, yeah, there's not much to it. it. It's quite the small little thing. So. Um, Anyhow, uh, the machine on the machining on this little gadget is very nice. It kind of has some chamfered edges on it. You can see it's uh, chamfered down here. It's uh, corner. It's got corners on it up here so that it's not digging into your pockets. Uh, very nice looking. This one is uh, bead blasted instead of uh, polished. I think if you look online on their website the one that they show is polished and this one is definitely bead blasted so uh, uh, yeah who knows after this gets a few scratches on it maybe I'll polish this one up and see how it looks um, on the body here it does say Meritac if that will focus it does have the Meritac logo it's pretty faint probably hard for the camera to see but you can see the logo right here and it does say Meritac and underneath that it says Rost Frex, and that's R O S T F R E X. I'm not sure who that is or if they're associated with uh, US Robotics, uh, the company who makes Meritac's uh, larger grappling hook. But anyhow, just thought I'd point that out. I haven't seen or heard that pointed out before. So uh, the threads on this thing are fantastic. Talk about nicely machined. Boy, is it smooth! Real smooth. You can see here it does have an o-ring seal inside the uh, tail cap. I guess I can call it a tail cap. Kind of using flashlight terms, but uh, that's what I'll call it. Uh, inside, of course, it's got the three little pointed ends here that screw into the body, and each one has an individual o-ring. I just noticed one o-ring I'm missing here. I'm not sure when that came off. I remember seeing three of them. Uh, a lot of people have been playing with this thing at work. Uh, you know, I brought it in and everyone has to play with it. So maybe somebody tightened it too much. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll probably see if I can pick up a little O-ring for it. Just because it helps these stay in tight when, uh, when you torque them down there with your fingers. And put the tail cap back on here for you. So you can see the completed see it in its full glory here uh, but there it is just a cool looking little gadget uh, if I measure it from outside tip to outside tip it is just at 40 millimeters there maybe 40.5 little less lengthwise measures in at 50 millimeters and diameter at the widest point, which is what I call a tail cap. It's 11 millimeters and the body is 9 millimeters. So, uh, yeah, cool little gadget. 
Uh, I haven't used it for anything serious yet or for anything purposeful. I have uh, tossed it up in a tree just to see if it would pull down on branches because uh, one of my other hobbies is flying RC aircraft and it seems like uh, one of my buddies uh, and occasionally myself ends up with an airplane in a tree and I'm the agile one so I end up having to <laughs> climb the tree and get the airplane out of it so uh, I've done that a few times now so I've been carrying this with uh, some special line that I'll show you guys shortly and uh, I'm hoping that one of these days I'll get to pull this out of my pocket and uh, pull down a tree branch to get the airplane out of the tree. Uh, you know, just to kind of show off with it, I, I guess you could say. So, um, really cool little gadget. Just wanted to show you here, I've got some 550 paracord. 550 paracord does fit through this little eyelet on the uh, end of the uh, tail cap. And I've stuck it through here a couple times now maybe it's getting a little harder but if I twist it a bit it does have a burnt end which is making it a little bit fatter but if I wiggle it around the paracord 550 cord does go through there obviously if you need ultimate strength 550 cord is the way to go it's gonna be the uh, the largest size that fits through that little hole there um, alternately you could use County Comms 330 seconds tether cord. And I think this is a good compromise all around uh, just because it gives you a lot of strength and it's not real bulky. Uh, I had carried this a few times to the park waiting to use this uh, on an airplane that was stuck in a tree, but uh, decided to change things up a little bit, which I'll show you next. But uh, this is going to be a lot stronger than fishing line. It doesn't have a lot of memory like fishing line does. And uh, I did experiment with fishing line a little bit, but man, this stuff has got a lot of stretch in it. A lot of stretch. This is 30 pound test. It's pretty thick. It's got a lot of memory in it. So when you w wrap it around something, like a credit card, I, I tried to carry it like that a couple times. It tends to slip off the ends unless you uh, notch out the card a little bit. And even then, unless you wrap it real tight, it tends to kind of flex off of the card a little bit. Um, and if you wrap it real tight, when you take the line off of the card, it tends to not be smooth and straight anymore. It kind of uh, molds to the uh, to the shape of the card. So, anyhow, I did mess with this a little bit. Uh, this is OmniFlex Walmart stuff, Shakespeare, 30 pound test. Uh, works okay, but way too stretchy, at least for me. So what I finally uh, decided upon was. Uh, Another one of my hobbies is flying two-lined sport kites, and we fly those kites with uh, Spectra, 100% Spectra stunt kite line. So um, all I've done, I've got a little credit card here, just an old, you know, any plastic card will will do, and I've got 30 feet of 150 pound Spectra cord or Spectra Kite Line. Now this stuff is very small in diameter and very strong. Uh, I think you can get this up to 250 pound uh, strength. Uh, this is 150 and is good for flying uh, eight, nine foot kites sometimes. So um, it, it's, uh, it's real strong stuff. I've had my, I've had two of these practically drag me up across the park, the, uh, the park before with my heels trying to dig in and uh, just two, two, two sets of this line. And uh, it was dragging, dragging my feet across the park in a good wind. So this stuff is real strong. And uh, on the end, I've got a little, uh, this is also for kite flying. It's a little stunt kite um, finger, finger straps here that you put your finger through. And this other end goes right through the end of the uh, eyelet. So, Anyhow, I've got this little compact solution here that I've just stick in my back pocket and I'm running out of time so I'm going to have to finish guys. But anyhow, this is a cool thing, a great uh, conversation piece 
uh, at the office. Lots of people like to fondle this thing and look at it, ask questions about it, ask where you can get it and so on. So it's just kind of a fun thing and uh, hopefully I'll get to use it here pretty soon. Thanks for watching guys. More videos in the next couple days. Catch you soon. Bye.